हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू ए न्यू वीडियो सो वी हैव रफली फोर टाइप ऑफ वेल एस आई कंपनी सो इन दिस वीडियो विल नो देम इन डिटेल ऑल्सो आई टेल यू हुई टाइप ऑफ कंपनी आई लव द मोस्ट एंड फॉर गेटिंग द जॉब इन दोज कंपनी व्हाट आर द रफ स्किल्स नीडेड एंड आर दोज कंपनी आर सिचुएटेड इन इंडिया और नॉट सो इफ यू आर सींग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सो माई सर्फ इज राजदीप आई एम ए वेल एस आई इंजीनियर एंड फॉर द स्टार्टर व्हाट डज वेल एस आई एज नेम सजेस्ट इट इज वेरी लार्ज सर्किट इंटीग्रेशन सो वी नीड टू इंटीग्रेट thousand billions of transistor into a small piece 1 millimeter by 1 millimeter what's the technology and the technology what enable us to do that is called vlsi technology and the people the industry which work on those are called vlsi industry for more information you can search uh, google but today's video is little different so the first type of vlsi company we have and those are called fabless company so what does fab means fab is a short form for your fabrication facilities because we need to fabricate the chips right and as name suggest fabless company means those type of company don't have any fabrication facility on their own so how they manufacture the chip actually they doesn't manufacture the chip what they do their main expertise is that they design the chip so designing the chip have many steps the first step would be deciding the architecture of the chip and architecture in simple language is like we are defining the definition of our chip right it will have four core or five core or seven core it will have how many io blocks it will have how many gigabytes kilobytes of memory how many of cache memory so those things decide like we need to decide fast and how we decide those thing by seeing the specification so for example i want to process this voice my voice and i want to transmit it right so for that what i need to do i am recording it in analog signal here so in my architecture there need to be some provision which can or which part can receive this analog signal and convert it to digital signal then there should be some digital processing need to be done because the digital signal we can't directly throw in our antenna then if there is a antenna then to interface that antenna there should be some provisions so likewise we do the first hand analysis what are the requirement how we can achieve it and how efficiently we can achieve it and whenever we tie them together is called architecture so there is the first step or if you are designing after that if it is a digital circuit mostly we go for rtl coding if it is analog circuit pure analog then we go for a schematic capturing after we do many a lot of verification and if everything is perfect our specifications are meeting what our expectation was then we go for synthesis or we go for layout design and in layout also first step would be floor planning and there are many steps which i am just ignoring because this video is not for giving you those information so the main objective of this discussion is that the designing company or the fabless company they only do this part of the thing right up to the layout they prepare the gds and after gds is prepared gds is nothing it's just a format uh, format by which we send our layout so whenever you send your layout to a fabrication company which is a second type of vlsi company so they are they just need they don't need any connection or anything it is it a mosfet is it a vgd they don't care they just care and that is they need to see the polygons which layer polygons are there and the format which give them those knowledge is called a gds format now second type of company that as i said those are the fabrication company they don't do design actually i am wrong here they also do design but i'll come there a little later but the main objective or the by the way they earn their money and that is by fabrication for example tsmc tsmc is a pure fabrication player right so apple send because apple is the example of fabless company so apple do their designing of m3 chips and then they want to manufacture it from somewhere right and the somewhere is tsmc for them for example so tsmc is so tsmc's main revenue model is their factory they have big big factory in those factory a uh, vlsi engineer for sure work but they also employ mechanical engineer chemical engineer because if you have gone through vlsi technology courses in vlsi technology courses you know we do etching we do chemical etching we have very big big machines are there so to maintain those machine to do all those chemical processing we need chemical engineer mechanical engineer and obviously we need a vlsi engineer there also we need lot of technician because uh, if you see any video in youtube actually um, there is one channel from intel and they sometimes showcase their fabrication there so you can search intel youtube channel you can see how big those factory are right so tsmc is the example global foundry is another example who just 
like they earn money by fabrication but as i said they also do designing why they do designing because they need to do r and d right for example it is not like that first apple will build a design and then their design will come to tsmc and they just manufacture it is not like that it is way around actually right first of all your tsmc need to define the process technology because if you have seen my tutorial video on layout there i have said something about pdk process design kit and that process design kit is the important thing before we start designing for example apple want to build their m3 chip so before they start designing they need to get the information of pdk or the process design kit for 3 nanometer or 2 nanometer and that thing need to be given by tsmc right so tsmc first need to prepare their proof of concepts otherwise why apple should invest so much money to uh, tsmc they won't right so that's why many time or for sure all the time all the fabrication company they do their own design but they don't earn directly they don't earn direct money from their design they just build their poc right after they build their proof of concept they also give all the things like how much yield we can achieve those things and they produce those results to apple or to the fabless company and then fabless company satisfied from those results and then only the fabless company will take the pdk from tsmc and they start their designing and after design is complete they will give back those gds to tsmc and or global foundry and then global foundry will go for the main direct revenue work and that is generating the chip generating the physical chip which we have in our laptop so see how things are interconnected now the third type of company and those are called vlsi design service company so what the design company do again just take the example of apple designing something so anytime apple need to design something how they will design from in the paper no they need to have some software for example your cadence virtuoso your synopsis icc2 tool or your mentor graphics so those are the third type of company who provide the software support to your fabless company and also to your fabrication company because fabrication company also need to design so they also need those eda electronic design automation tool right and the main revenue model of this third type of company uh, electronic design company and that is the software they build the software for both the company fabless and fab, uh, fabrication company right but in your surprise they also do design because i won't go very deep into that but currently what do we do most of the time like if you go through the process by which we developed a chip in vlsi there are many methodologies are there right one of the methodology is standard gate based design vlsi design we have semi custom full custom standard selvage means for example you want to build a full header right so for full header what you need you need gates right you need end gate xor gate um, yeah those type of gates you need so one way is that hey build everything from scratch and the other way would be that somebody will provide me those gates and as a designer what i'll do i'll take th those gate and i'll just connect them and i'll make a full header that's a one technique and which technique we call standard selvage design but we can go one level up and that is hey if somebody directly provide provide me the full header then i can directly take that full header and i can make a ripple creator very easily so if somebody provide me directly the full header then i will call it it's a ip based design right ip stand for intellectual property but sometimes those design company uh, your third type of vlsi company like cadence purchase or mentor graphics synopsis they provide ip to the design company right design company or your first type of company who are fabless so our example was apple so for example if now apple want to design something for example they are designing a very high efficiency chip and they need a memory block there sram block there and they said hey we can also do it from scratch but if you can provide with your software that uh, sram ip it will be very helpful the synopsis cadence would be happy they can sell their ip so that means 
your synopsis or the third type of company also do some kind of design but the main revenue earning model is from their service or from their software right so these are the third i'll come to the main question and that is what are the skills required for this three type of company and four type of companies still left and yeah if you're finding any value from this video please don't forget to like this video so let me co cover four type of company so four type of company is actually a mixture of all those three and those are called IDM, Integrated Device Manufacturing Company. A very well-known example, and that is your Intel, your Samsung. Uh, Micron is that or not, I am not sure, you just search. But anytime you call any company IDM, when they do design also, and they do their own fabrication, they have the factory also. For example, Samsung. Samsung has their a huge manufacturing plant. Most of the Samsung chip, I don't have much knowledge, but probably all of the chip of Samsung's are fabricated from their own fabrication facility only. They never go to TSMC, but I'm not, maybe I'm not correct. Maybe few chip, they design from TSMC, but this is another thing. But those kind of companies are called IDM. And I said we will cover all the three like your fabless your fabrication based company and also your electronic design service company but nowadays what idm do they mostly outsource their uh, eda tool like they take help from the eda tool manufacturer mostly most of the idm uh, do like that only but in older days actually idm are the company who have all those three parts inside them so now the main question what are the rough skill you need to go to all those three type of company actually four type of company is just a mixture of these three right so these three type of company right and in in your surprise in our everyone's surprise all these three company exist in india we don't have factory but i said now for fabrication company also we need to do design right so that's why in india we have a lot of opportunity don't go by any random senior or uh, anyone who say hey in india electronic core job is not there electronic core jobs are there they are many 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 okay okay so for the first type of company which are called your fabless company so for fabless company the core vlsi concept is very much required because there you do mostly design only your very low your arterial coding uh, if you go for analog then your analog concepts right your layout uh, concepts so for layout you need to know the semiconductor physics very much very well there are many courses in nptl like vlsi physical design those type of course for sure you have done you need to clean and clear idea about those things for fast type of company for second type of company where the fabrication is done the fabrication part is not present in india commercial so in fabrication uh, we can ignore that one but for fabrication also they need to do design they need to do build a poc proof of concept right so for that the same knowledge which you need for the design company are applied for fab fabrication based company also like tsmc global foundry tsmc i'm not sure if it's in, present in india or not but global foundry is there in india now for the third type of company like your cadence purchase synopsis mental graphics they are present in india in bangalore <laughs> so for them the main concept they need or the main skill they need is actually software based as a electronic student we have two mind actually one mind or one type of students are very good with hardware and one type of uh, student who are uh, not so good with hardware but they are very good with their software part they know their dsa they know their algorithms right but the good thing is that they also know something about VLSI because they are belong to EC only. So those type of student are very nicely suited for that type of company, that third type of company, which are electronic design service company, like Cadence Virtuoso, Mental Graphics, those. Because they are, their main revenue source is the software. And for the fourth type of company, IDM, I, again I said, those are the mixture of their three. They have the design part and they have the fabrication part. And in fabrication part in India, as factory is not there so we mostly have design part which is for product if i take an example our idm like intel so intel will have uh, a, a product based company which will make uh, all the product your core your cpu uh, cpu whichever we have in our laptop right and there will be another team who, who will be responsible for doing r d like latest processes are coming so for intel uh, like latest processor are process uh, process technologies are coming called 18 armstrong right so for them we need to do some r d right so there will be one 
team who will be doing R&D. And the basic skill needed for both the groups are your VLSI concepts only, the VLSI basics, VLSI fundamentals, and a little bit advanced knowledge only. And for R&D, a very much inquisitive mind, a, a curious mind need to be there. So I hope you got a rough idea about the things, the type of VLSI company. And if you have got any value, then don't forget to like this video. If you haven't subscribed, then please subscribe. There are many wonderful topics I'm gonna cover like this short, short video. And I'll see you in our next video. Till then, tata, bye bye. Keep smiling.